Good morning, Privateer FX fans from North America. New York open here. We got what we wanted. Dollar yen. 98 was the break. We had the 99 print back to 07. 98 broke. And we've printed a low now of 53. We like this. Uh, like we said, we think this is the beginning of something. So you can trade around it as we head into 30. This low here, 31, should be support first time down at 31. And now you just want to be core short. Your stop has to be above 108.50. So take some back here in the 50s, 40s, 30s, you sell some in the 70s, 80s, 90s, let the uh, FX insanity do its work for you, and we're just core short, I mean, this is uh, pretty standard stuff, just broke a six year trend line, you know, this thing should go to 102 eventually, uh, it won't be a straight line, it never is, but... Trend is down, so let's uh, stick with the trend. Euro dollar, I haven't done too much today. Print a high of 37, back down to 12. Now we are uh, scoping that 37 high again. If you're a seller, you might as well wait till 53, which is the 200 hour. It's been a while since uh, we've broken that. It should be resistance first time. We're not doing anything in Euro dollar. Um, so, not really sure what to do. Cable. Inflation numbers came out a wee bit stronger. Hard to buy into any kind of sterling uh, strength. Especially if the global economy turns over, UK is going to be in an um, even worse position going into Brexit. Uh, it's one thing when you're a little island on your own and everything's going great. That's a totally another situation when you're a little island on your own and everything, all the shit's hitting the fan. Uh, makes it much harder to negotiate. You're placed in a much more desperate situation. Not too positive on the UK, gotta say, going forward. Don't have a trade on at the moment. I may sell some up near 140 um, just for kicks. But uh, for now, we're just watching. Um, Keep in mind, inflation numbers were higher today. We are selling Kiwi. Same strategy we've been using all week. We sell high ones, try and buy them back, resell high ones. We traded to a high of 15 today. A little bit further than I would have liked, but we're core short. We're pretty comfortable with it. Um, the commodity currencies are going to get slammed. You know, we're just taking a little bit of a pause here, sort of mid slam. I don't think uh, we're going to get back above 74 the figure. And while we're going up, you see these up days. You just want to sell high ones and try and get yourself an average. And then build up some PL and also just mentally prepare yourself to smash it down through 71 and 3 quarters. So that's where we are on Kiwi. Let's go to cryptos. Lots of little intraday 5% moves here. Um, we're in the midst of selling out of some of the longs that we got down here in the 65. We didn't get given at 55. but And now we just wait for the next down move. And if it goes straight up, which it easily could. You just sit tight and uh, keep your core longs. Keep your core longs on. Ethereum, same thing. Dollar Czar, Jacob's out. No more Zuma. I'm going to Zuma, Zuma, Zoom. Zuma, 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 Zoom. For those of you who are 50, you'll remember that TV show. Uh. An enlightened colleague of mine mentioned that as soon as the Zuma exit euphoria is over, we might want to 
Might want to get on the Cell South African Rand train. This is a train, as you guys all know, I've been trying to get on the last couple of weeks with no success. But we're out there, we're lurking. We are lurking. Maybe back up through 1201. We're not in the situation where we're going to try and buy low ones. We want to buy weakness. So we want to buy dollars and czar weakness. Maybe some bad news out of South Africa. That's usually that's usually the ticket for a good 60, 70 big figures. So keep your eye on the uh, news feeds and just kind of be ready because it's overdone down here. Emerging markets eventually are going to get caned uh, as this risk parity trade blows up. So keep an eye on it. Not much to do at 11.89, uh, but we are keeping an eye on it. All cross yen, we're sellers. We don't have anything on. We're looking for setups, but we're left-hand side. Pretty straightforward, standard type stuff. And the intrepid e-minis. We are also sellers of this stuff. Uh, we did not get paid up at uh, 80 yesterday, but this is kind of our sell zone. Let's call it 2670 to 2700 uh, with the idea that it could extend. There could be silly business, but... Bear market's on, as far as we can see, and you want to take advantage of the silliness on the upside for your intraday tactical trades, and then you want to put structures on for the downside. The 25, 30 puts seem uh, quite a professional idea. Something like that. We have some, uh, you can either use the SPY contracts or the uh, E-mini e-mini futures, options on e-mini futures, many, many ways to structure it. Obviously, core short dollar yen is kind of the same trade as well, but the time is now. There's money to be made here, uh, and the overall market is caught. You can just see, you can just feel it. They're caught. All of these risk parity and all of these vol embedded strategies are totally caught and praying. We all know how these movies end. They don't end well. So put this on. Tactically trade it intraday and have your structures on for sort of the three to six month period. All right, that's us finished for the uh, New York Open. I wish you guys uh, good luck today in your trading. And I'll see you tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.